In this video, you will learn about actors who have passed away. The actress made her film debut in The Unbelievable Truth and Trust, directed by Hal Hartley. In the 1990s, she acted in movies, wrote screenplays, and worked in television. Married to actor Andy Ostroy, they had a daughter Sophie in 2003. On November 1, 2006, 40-year-old Adrian was found dead in her office located in Manhattan. Her husband, Andy Ostroy, found her hanging from a sheet in the bathroom. The first version of the cause of death was suicide. A forensic medical examination was conducted the next day. Law enforcement officials were alarmed by the fact that shoe prints not belonging to Adrian were found at the scene of the tragedy. The husband of the actress also denied the version of suicide and said that his wife was missing money. On November 6, 2006, the media reported that police arrested 19-year-old construction worker Diego Pilco, an illegal immigrant from Ecuador who confessed to the murder of Adrian Shelley. His first movie role was in 2004 in the Australian television series All Saints. After that, Andy took part in three more TV series, The Strip, Packed to the Rafters, and McLeod's Daughters. Andy's next notable role was in the 2010 Australian horror movie, The Clinic. However, his most notable role was in the TV series, Spartacus, Blood and Sand, where Andy played the role of Spartacus, a Thracian warrior who became one of Rome's most famous gladiators. In March, 2010, Andy was diagnosed with lymphoma. For a long time, Andy underwent repeated treatment after a relapse of the disease. On September 11, 2011, Andy Whitfield passed away in Sydney, Australia. She began her modeling career at the age of 20. In 1992, she took part in an advertisement for the fashion brand, Guess. It was then that she took the pseudonym, Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole is a fictitious name. Smith's last name was a real one, obtained in her first marriage. In 1993, Smith became a Playboy magazine girl. She had the opportunity to be in the magazine a year earlier, but shortly before the shoot, she notified the editorial staff that she had been in a car accident and had abrasions, because of which she could not take part in the shoot. On February 8, 2007, Stern left on business, but was soon called back, reporting that Smith was extremely ill. The ambulance that arrived on the call several times tried to bring the woman to consciousness, but without success, she died. According to the preliminary version of the cause of death of 39-year-old Smith was an overdose of analgesics and antidepressants, which she abused in the last years of life. On November 22, 1963, an eight-year-old Paxton was among the crowd that greeted John F. Kennedy in a motorcade as he drove into the Dealey Plaza neighborhood and was assassinated. Paxton later co-produced the movie Parkland, which commemorated his assassination. In 1992, Paxton played his first starring role in the movie One Wrong Move. Paxton was starred by James Cameron in his science fiction films, The Terminator and Aliens. Bill Paxton passed away on February 25, 2017, at the age of 61. The official cause of death was given as a stroke caused by complications from heart valve and aortic surgery he underwent on February 24, 2017. In May 2008, Boyce made his first television appearance in the music video for the rock band Panic at the disco's single That Green Gentleman. In July of the same year, he appeared in a minor role in the nighttime soap opera General Hospital, The Night Shift. In August, he had a role in the horror feature film Mirrors and starred in this movie On the Hook. In June 2010, he played Keith Fader in the movie comedy Classmates. He is best known for starring roles in the comedy series Jesse and Diary of a Gamer as well as in the movie series, The Heirs. Cameron Boyce died in his sleep on the night of July 6, 7, 2019, at the age of 20. The cause of death was an epilepsy attack that occurred due to a prolonged illness. Fisher made her film debut in 1975 as the not at all seductive heroine Lorna Karp in the mid-1974 comedy, Shampoo, filmed when she was 17 years old. In 1977, Fisher starred as Princess Leia in the science fiction film Star Wars, Episode IV, A New Hope. In 1980, she repeated her role as Princess Leia in Star Wars, Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. In 1983, Fisher returned to the role of Princess Leia in Star Wars, Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. On December 23, 2016, Fisher suffered cardiac arrest on a flight from London to Los Angeles. 
A passenger sitting next to her later reported that the actress stopped breathing. He gave her CPR until paramedics arrived. At the age of 12, he made his debut in this movie Charlie and the Talking Buzzard, which was released in 1979. In 1983, the movies Fight Fish and All the Right Moves starring him were released. Penn was found dead in his Santa Monica apartment on January 24, 2006, at the age of 40. An autopsy and subsequent toxicology report performed by the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner's Office revealed that the primary cause of death was heart disease. The report also noted that the prescription drug, promethazine with codeine and an enlarged heart, were possible contributing factors in his death. The toxicology report showed that Valium, morphine, marijuana, and elevated levels of codeine were found in his blood. Herrmann first appeared on stage in November 1971 in the play Moon Children. The following year, he began acting on Broadway and in 1976 won a Tony Award for Best Actor for his role in Mrs. Warren's Profession. Herrmann also made his first screen appearance in 1971 in the movie Lady Liberty, where he played a small role as a policeman. Since 1973, he has been filming regularly and eventually appeared in more than 120 films and TV series over a period of 40 years. Died in hospital from brain cancer. Elizabeth Slodden is a British television actress and presenter, best known for her role as Sarah Jane Smith in the cult science fiction television series Doctor Who and its offshoots K9 and Company in the Sarah Jane Adventures. In February 2011, Elizabeth Sladen was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. After a brief battle with the disease, she passed away on April 19, 2011 at the age of 65. Four-time Emmy Award, nominee and six-time Golden Globe Award nominee. At birth, she was named Farah, later changed to Farah. Farah became a sex symbol of the 1970s era. She subsequently landed a role in the television series, Charlie's Angels. Although Fawcett left the series after the first season ended, her worldwide popularity did not diminish. Farrah Fawcett continued to be successful in movies and television series, and in 1995, she starred in Playboy magazine. This issue was the most popular issue of the 1990s. In 2006, Fawcett was diagnosed with colon cancer. The actress passed away at Santa Monica City Hospital in Santa Monica, California on June 25, 2009 at the age of 62. Early in his career, Quinn starred in commercials for Pepsi and Ray-Ban appeared in Richard Marx's Satisfied Music video, participated in eight different auditions for the roles of Brandon Walsh and Steve Sanders for the TV series Beverly Hills 90210. Casting director Joanna Ray did give Quinn a cameo with two lines in the pilot episode. Quinn's first notable role on television was in the American sitcom The Outsiders. Quinn died on December 3, 2002 at the age of 32. His body was found on the couch of a friend he was visiting in North Hollywood that day. Police and autopsy reports revealed that the cause of his death was an accidental heroin overdose. As a choreographer and in the more dramatic role of an American tap dancer who found himself in the Soviet gulag, he appeared in the film White Nights, 1985, collaborating on it with the recognized master of ballet Mikhail Baryshnikov. However, more often preferred the comedic role in the movie World History, Part 1, Deal of the Century, Run Without Looking Back, Fury in Harlem, Renaissance Man, Waiting to Exhale, but starred also in mystical fantasy musical tapes. He died of liver cancer on August 9, 2003 in Los Angeles, USA. After successful roles in film and television in Australia in the 1990s, Ledger moved to the United States in 1998 to develop his acting career. In Hollywood, he appeared in 19 films, including 10 Reasons I Hate You, The Patriot, A Night's Story, Brokeback Mountain, and The Dark Knight. In addition to his acting career, he has produced, directed music videos, and aspired to become a director. On January 22, 2008, Heath Ledger was found dead in his New York City apartment in Manhattan. The autopsy could not establish the exact cause of death, so it was necessary to conduct an additional toxicological examination the results of which were announced the official cause of death ledger. Acute intoxication caused by the combined effect of painkillers, sleeping pills, and tranquilizers. James Gandolfini is best known for his role as Tony Soprano, the head of the Mafia family in the HBO series The Sopranos, for which he won three Emmy Awards. 
five American Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Golden Globe. His performance as Tony Soprano has been called one of the greatest and most influential performances in television history. On June 19, 2013, while on vacation with his 13-year-old son Michael in Rome, around 10 p.m. local time, Gandolfini collapsed in the bathroom of a hotel room. Michael called for help and an ambulance was called, taking Gandolfini to the hospital. Already in the car, he was given resuscitation procedures that lasted for 40 minutes and after arriving at the hospital. After unsuccessful resuscitation attempts, James Gandolfini was pronounced dead. According to Proffermi Claudio Modini, the actor's heart had stopped. John Hurd became known to mass audiences for his role as Peter McAllister, the father of the family, in the comedies Home Alone and Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Both films proved very popular, including outside the United States. Hurd also played notable roles in major film projects, Awakening, Gladiator, In the Line of Fire, The Case of the Pelicans, and My Dear Americans. Hurd died on July 21, 2017, at a hotel in Palo Alto, California, where he was recovering from back surgery. The cause of death was a heart attack. John Ritter is known for his roles in the sitcoms Three's Company and Eight Simple Rules for My Teenage Daughter's Friend, as well as the movies The Difficult Child and The Difficult Child 2. On September 11, 2003, John felt ill. On the set of the TV series Eight Simple Rules for My Teenage Daughter's Friend, Ritter complained of heart pains. He later collapsed and fell into a coma. Ritter was taken to Providence St. Joseph Medical Center where he died that evening in his 55th year of life from aortic dissection caused by a congenital heart defect. He made his acting debut in 2000. He began his career with teenage roles in the series American Dreams, Lonely Hearts, and others. The greatest popularity to him came after filming in the series Kurt Sutter's Sons of Anarchy. On September 26, 2012, Lewis was found dead near the house he rented in Los Angeles. Also, inside the house was found the body of 81-year-old villa owner, Catherine Davis. The actor is believed to have beaten the woman to death, climbed to the roof, and fell from it in an accident. Lewis was not under the influence of drugs as previously thought. In 1990, Jonathan gets his first starring role in the movie The Never-Ending Story 2, playing in it a young bastion Bax, going to the magical world of Fantasia to help the inhabitants of the fairy kingdom. In the same year, Jonathan starred as stutterer Bill D'Ambroso in the movie It, an adaptation of the epic horror novel of the same name by Stephen King. On November 11, 2003, Jonathan Brandis hanged himself in the hallway of his own apartment. After 15 minutes, he was found unconscious and, while still alive, was rushed to the Los Angeles Medical Center, Cedar sinai But he could not be saved, and on November 12th, doctors stated his death. In 1998, he was invited to play the lead role in the TV series Famous Jet Jackson, later starred in several TV series, in particular, in a number of seasons of Smallville Mysteries. The body of Lee Thompson Young was found in his apartment in North Hollywood on August 19th, about 9.15. Colleagues, concerned about the actor's non-appearance on the set, turned to the police. Police officers found Lee Young dead in his home. According to the police, Lee Young had shot himself with a gun. Previously, Lee Young was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. The actor was treated and suffered from depression. The examination showed that before his death, Lee Young continued to take medication. There were no traces of alcohol or drugs in his blood. What caused the young man's suicide is still unclear. He is best known for his role as Dylan McKay in the television series Beverly Hills, 90,210 inches. He is also known for his role as Fred Andrews in the television series Riverdale, guest appearances on shows such as The Simpsons, Will and Grace, Law and Order, SVU and Criminal Minds, and roles in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, The Fifth Element, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. On February 27, 2019, Perry suffered a massive ischemic stroke before being taken to the hospital from his home in Sherman Oaks. After suffering a second stroke in the hospital, Perry was taken off life support on March 4, 2019 and passed away. Michael Clark Duncan is best known for his role as John Coffey in The Green Mile, for the performance of which he was nominated for a number of awards, including an Oscar and a Golden Globe. 
In 2003, Duncan performed the role of Kingpin in the movie Daredevil. This was followed by work in other films such as Nine Yards, Planet of the Apes, The Scorpion King. On July 13, 2012, the actor was taken to Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles due to a heart attack. On September 3, 2012, Duncan passed away in his 55th year of life, having never recovered from it. Trevor Goddard is best known for his film roles, including Kano from the film adaptation of Mortal Kombat, Lieutenant Commander Mick Brumby from the television series Military Legal Services, and the central antagonist Kiefer from the action film Soldiers of Fortune. On June 7, 2003, Trevor Goddard was found dead in his own home in North Hollywood. He was 40 years old. The initial theory was suicide, as Goddard was going through divorce proceedings. An autopsy revealed that the death was caused by a drug overdose of heroin, cocaine, temazepam, and Vicodin.